Communication towers are essential for millions of people every day. They are critical for our safety, security, and emergency services. With your help, we can add one more benefit to that list. It will also save you money. How can you save money? Less electricity and less maintenance. Tower owners can save $500 to $1,300 a year. That means thousands of dollars over time. New guidelines allow exclusive use of flashing lights and in some cases, extinguishing side lights. LED lights take your savings one step further. Number one, it's LED, so there's less cost. Um, number two, the stability of LED yields less maintenance over the life of the system. And then again, there's less fixtures on the tower, so there's less stuff they do have to repair when it does break. So it, it's been, uh, a, like I said, a grand slam across the industry. These changes have another benefit, saving birds. When tall structures are lit at night, migrating birds can become disoriented by steady burn lights. They are drawn toward the light and collide with the structure or each other. More than six million birds die this way each year, but there is a solution. Exclusive use of avian-friendly flashing lights can save up to four million birds a year. That means hundreds or thousands of birds during the life of a single tower. When you decide to change the lighting on your tower, you have to seek approval through the FAA and the FCC. And what I've noticed is that if you're moving from non-avian to avian, um, your success rate's very high. It's a fast process and um, it's a classic win-win-win for all parties concerned. What do you need to know? For towers over 350 feet, you only need to extinguish non-flashing lights. It's as easy as flipping a switch. For towers under 350 feet, relamping may be required, but LED bulbs will reduce your operating and maintenance costs. If security lighting is required, consider motion sensor lighting. It will reduce your energy use and the number of birds attracted to your site. It's important to note that reducing tower lighting will not put aircraft at risk for a collision. In fact, the FAA recommends these lighting systems. The idea is to keep people off the towers as much as you can, yet still maintain that degree of safety for the traffic, the air traffic in the skies. So by virtue of the fact that we eliminated a lot of the maintenance, we eliminated a lot of the climbs. The three-step process is easier than you think, and there are no fees. One, file a marking and lighting study with the FAA. Two, once approved, file Form 854 with the FCC online or by mail. Three, after the change is granted, extinguish, reprogram, or replace your lighting. Per the FAA, flashing red lights should flash at 30 FPM, plus or minus 3 FPM. All of the industry is pushing toward a more avian-friendly network. You've got uh, the larger tower owners, of course, are on board with this. The smaller tower owners, mom and pops, I am very encouraged by what I've seen over the past year, year and a half. They're starting to jump on this bandwagon as well. Our industry has made thousands of avion lighting conversions, which is part of the win-win between the migratory birds, the carriers, and the tower owners. We want to thank the owners of more than 8,000 towers who already converted their lighting. They are saving money and saving birds. Come join us and help the tower industry make a big difference for these birds. We need everyone's help to build a legacy.